Hey friends, I know it's been a while since I have posted any upgrade videos to the uh, Colorado XT. Uh, that's because unlike most upgrades which take a couple hours or maybe a weekend, this particular upgrade has taken me approximately six years. Uh, so we'll go through the upgrades that I did. Uh, first thing I was I wanted a little bit more stable platform or stable ride. So instead of the nine foot pontoons, I upgraded them to uh, 20 foot pontoons. Uh, it's kind of wrapped them in aluminum to keep them uh, safe and strong. And then I filled them with a high density foam for buoyancy. Uh, after that, I decided to, I had a bunch of room, so I put on a 20 foot deck on top of that. On the 20 foot deck, I had all sorts of room, so I decided to upgrade my chair. Uh, so I put this chair on and then I realized I could uh, have room for another up chair So I put this chair on they are both swivel chairs Then I realized I pretty much wasn't using the back of the boat. So Back here. I put on another chair. This is more of a captain's chair. It adjusts six ways and Is kind of neato um, With that I got a little concerned about falling off. So I added these walls all around that keeps me from falling off uh, once that was done I realized I like fishing so I decided to install some rod holders I've got four here plus one here and one here which I typically use for my fishing net and I've also got uh, another three here another rod holder there rod holder there, and three more here so I've got a total of 14 rod holders because 13 was just obviously not enough uh, also, I did install some seating here, which I've tur also turned into a live well. Um, I generally just use this live well as a cooler since I'm 99.999% catch and release. Uh, after that, I installed another kind of storage area for tackle and rags and such. Additionally, I did uh, install a steering wheel, which is all sorts of fun. Um, that way I don't have to grab the motor and hold it by hand and twist and tilt. I installed a bunch of gauges just to uh, look gaugey and stuff. Uh, I did upgrade my uh, fish finder to a Humminbird G3 with mega side imaging, down imaging, uh, chirp, and mega mega stuff. Uh, installed with a ram mount, which probably looks somewhat familiar. Got a throttle control here. Um, here's the back live well. I also add, made a slight upgrade to the trolling motor because with this front motor mount, it was able to balance the weight distribution. So now my trolling motor is a uh, rear mounted Evinrude 90 horsepower E Tech with roughly 27 gallon gas tank, I think. Um, that gave me a little bit more thrust than that Minn Kota. So it allowed me to install this tow bar, which has been all sorts of fun for the family and kids. Uh, on the back, I have this uh, Minn Kota deck hand, which is a, like a, essentially a 40 pound uh, electric anchor winch uh, for that. I installed a little control right there, hit the button, it'll lower, it'll raise, so that's pretty nice. I don't have to pull by hand anymore. Uh, and then I also installed another one up front. This one I have not run the remote switch, so I still have to come up here and lower it and raise it and such. But still a lot better than doing by hand. I also figured I should have some escape routes, so I installed a door here and a door here and a door here and a door there. And I figured if I did fall off, I should have a ladder, so I installed a ladder as well. So that's kind of exciting. Um, for the front mounted trolling motor, I did. Install the battery under here. I also keep life jackets and other stuff. Installed a handy little trash can or bag, I suppose the case may be. And this little thing for holding various tools and such. 
Also on hot sunny days like this, it's nice to have a little bit of shade. So I installed a uh, bimini top so that can help keep the sun off. So jolly joy for that. Of course, I installed a couple hold, couple cup holders there. There's two there and two back here. Uh, one up here and over here so total of about seven cup holders um, got some storage here for under these seats that I installed um, basically store the boat cover and nothing too exotic beyond that I do have a swivel seat back here for in case I decide to bring company out still have my tackle boxes which came with this Colorado XT that you're looking at here um installed another area spot here so if i wanted to say move a chair from there to here or move one of the front swivel chairs i can install one here or in case i decide to install a fourth swivel chair uh, i can do that i've also got a spot here to uh, set up a table i generally don't like having the table installed because it just kind of gets in the way but it's there if i need it to be uh i also did install a bluetooth sound system so it's there and got some speakers down here and there and then of course for safety reasons uh, I have navigation lights there's my red one and there's my green one we have our light up top there so uh, those are the upgrades again all of this can be done with PVC you can buy from Home Depot it took me about six years to uh, do this upgrade that's why it's been so long since I've done the videos uh, it's hardly recognizable as the Colorado, Colorado XT. It does take a lot longer to break down now. Um, a lot longer to deflate and inflate. So I generally just leave it inflated and uh, kept on the lake. And uh, that's what I've been up to. Let me know if you have any questions.